A mostly black crowd was leaving Miami Beach's annual hip hop festival. It was 4 a.m. Memorial Day weekend, 2011. There's a vehicle fleeing southbound on calling. Police say this blue Hyundai, seen in video recorded by a resident in a high rise, had hit a police officer on a bike three blocks away. It rolled to a stop for a minute when police opened fire. <laughs> A dozen officers fired 116 rounds. 22-year-old Raymond Harris hit 16 times, died behind the wheel. Four bystanders were also wounded, including Carlson St. Louis. You go there for fun, and next thing you know, you're getting shot, you hear gunshots, and then you're crawling somewhere. That's not what I expected to happen that night. At first, police said Harris had shot at them. But three days passed before investigators said they recovered a gun under the Hyundai's front seat. Test showed Harris never fired it, and police have not presented any evidence that an officer was hit by Harris's car. His blood alcohol level was over the legal limit. They say he was driving on the wrong side of the street. The tape doesn't show that. Uh, they say he was driving recklessly. The tape doesn't show that. Lawyer Marwan Porter represents Harris's family. He was shot down in cold blood. This doesn't pass the smell test. Some witnesses say police confiscated cell phones from people who had taken videos of the shooting and the aftermath. Charlene Harris is the dead man's sister. It's been over two years until today. We still have not heard from the police officers. They attacked my brother and now they're attacking our family. They need to be held responsible. They need to take accountability for their actions. Police investigators won't say whether they've even questioned the 12 officers involved in the shooting. Harris's family had to sue Miami Beach to release evidence in the case. Miami Beach police declined our request for an interview. They did refer us to the mayor's office, and in a statement, the mayor said, the investigation prevents making formal statements, but the city has been diligently working on enhancing policies and procedures throughout the organization to restore the public trust. We want some kind of closure. We want to understand what happened and why, why they use such force. State prosecutors are now reviewing the case and will decide whether to charge any of the officers. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Miami.